Hello, my name is Kevin Saya. I'm a curatorial and research assistant at the Mineralogical and Geological Museum at Harvard University. And I'm here behind the scenes before the big opening of, a, uh, of our Harvard um, Mineral Heritage uh, display that we were going to do um, for the University of Arizona Mineral Museum. Um, we were pretty much set up and ready to go, but I wanted to um, highlight one of, um, I say, that a strength for our collection and, and one of the reasons we bought, brought two cases worth of, uh, of northeastern minerals. Um, Harvard's a top uh, depository, at least historically, for, for that regional collection. And, and here are some of the best highlights that I brought. It was a, it was a pleasure putting this stuff together. But um, uh, one of the, the things that is general about the Harvard collection is we have important historical specimens. And a lot of the pegmatite and, and famous minerals from the Northeast came out in the 1800s or the, or the beginning of the 1900s. But actually, there are a lot of surprising stuff that had, have been collected um, in the last 50 years or so, or, or even more recent. Um, a very famous story involves the, uh, the extraction in 1989 of some of the best morganite um, gem barrel crystals that have ever been mined in America. This is what's left of the Rose of Maine, and this is the full peach, the peach, as it's, it's named. These are uh, among the best up there with the, the San Diego Morganites that have come out. This might have been the best ever, but unfortunately it was lost um, to the hammer uh, uh, at the expense of two brothers, the Holden brothers' um, friendship, because no museum could pay the money it uh, would cost to preserve it as a mineral specimen versus uh, the gem stock that can be uh, derived for it. Um, in terms of new stuff, this came out in the last year. This is from the Red Embers Mine in, in Irving, uh, Massachusetts. So um, mining in New England may not be in its heyday, but it's, it's also, uh, there are still things to be found and still uh, a lot of magical things. This is going to be even more impressive at the opening once we get it backlit and it's glowing red like the namesake of the mine. Um, these gem tourmalines here all came out in 1972 from a famous uh, find in New Remain. Um, this one here is famous for being one of the two bottom slices that were cut off of the famous Jolly Green Giant in the Smithsonian Institution. So you can imagine how magical the, the Jolly Green Giant that's actually about this tall is and, and uh, how gem clear it is as you see the w watermelon tourmaline slice that we have there. Um, Harvard's famous for its purple appetite um, uh, found at the Pulsifer uh, Quarry in Auburn, Maine. Um, other than the Roebling appetite that's in the Smithsonian, I would say Harvard probably has the best purple appetite in the entire world. So these are the kind of things that I wanted to, to single out and share with the, with the Arizona and whoever else uh, crowd that can come by for the next year. This display is going to be up for a year. And I wanted uh, to show some of the magical stuff from New England that uh, isn't normally seen in this, this, these parts. So thank you very much.